ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this little design that I did for you. It's actually not a design. These are um, actually real dried out flowers that I got off of the app called Wish. Um, I will tell you more about these little flowers for the, you know, a little bit further on in the video. But for now, let's just hop into the video and let's just get started. So I'm doing this basically just on only on my ring nails and I'm going to be using some gel. So to get started, I'm going to be using some protein bond from Young Nails, and I'm just going to apply two coats of this before I lay down the base coat. So here I have my base coat, and I'm just going to be using my little gel brush, and I'm just going to apply a, a thin, a very thin layer. You don't need to go thick on this. Um, it's just something for the gel to you know, stick to. So just apply just a very thin layer if you are using this particular brand. So next I'm going to take my fill gel and just like I did with the base coat, I am going to be using the same brush. I'm going to apply a thin layer of this. I just wanted something for the flowers to sit on. You probably could have done this on your natural nail, you know, just probably just using just gel. Just make sure you leave that, that tacky layer on top so those flowers have something to stick to when you lay down. Otherwise, they're just going to obviously just fall off if they don't have nothing sticky to stick to. But here, um, yeah, I'm just using my built gel and I'm just going to start at the cuticle and work my way up to the free edge. Again, just a very thin layer. It might look like I'm using a lot of gel, but I'm really not. Um, it just, for me, this just seems easier for me to do it kind of like this sometimes because gel doesn't always work in your favor and sometimes your hands don't either. So it's pretty much whatever works for me at the moment and this is just how I chose to do it. So I'm just going to work I'll work my way up to the free edge just like I had said. And before I cure that, I'm just going to take my brush once again and then I'm just going to go and clean up those side walls just like I'm doing right here and towards the cuticle if I might have flooded it because like I said, builder, um, the build gel, it does tend to run a lot so I, and you don't want that, you know, on your skin because your nail will pop right off. So here are the flowers that I was telling you about and they come, I think it's three colors um, of each flower, I believe. I can't even be too sure. I'll let you know down in the description box, but I've only used these for these nails, and yeah, they work perfectly fine. Um, I also got these off of Wish, and uh, I'll actually have these up in a Wish It or Wasted video coming up very soon, so I'll let you know the prices of everything and you know all that fun stuff. But here I'm just showing you the purple ones. I actually ended up not using the purple ones. I used the yellow ones because I thought you know I wanted a little pop of color. So I'm just taking my brush, you know, that I've been using for my gel, and I'm just going to take, you know, dip my brush in a little bit of, um, I don't even know which one I use. I use some type of gel. I dipped it in there just so I can grab the flower and then place it on my nail, and then I dip my brush in, um, in alcohol, and then I just patted that down, and yeah, it was, it was really difficult. This is like one of the first times I, you know, had used this, so it was kind of difficult, and it was still a learning curve, but, um, yeah, that's just basically how I did it, is I just didn't wipe off that tacky layer after I cured, you know, the, the gel in the first place. And yeah, I just didn't wipe it down, so it was that little stickiness to it. And then, yeah, I just used a little bit of gel just to pick up those petals. And then I wiped my brush clean, and then I just pressed down on it, and just so they would stay nice and firm to the nail. These little tiny pieces that I'll be using in this next clip. Um, they kind of gave me issues, but I still made it work and it still looked cute. So here are the little guys that, as you can see, were giving me issues. They just, I don't know, if I, if I couldn't pick them up, then they just didn't want to stick to my nail, probably because I wiped off the, you know, the sticky layer of it. But like I said, I made it work and I'm just going to place these randomly around more and spaces where there's no flower and there's just that gap so and I didn't really want a gap so I'm just gonna fill up all those little gaps. So 
So after I have all those down, I'm just going to take my build once again, my build gel, and I'm just going to encase all those flowers so they stick and yeah, the ending result is so pretty, you'll see. But just like before, I'm just going to go in like little tiny layers. I don't like to grab a bunch of it at a time because like I said, it's really runny and you'll flood the side walls and probably your cuticle if you're not careful. So I'm just going to use just a little bit of this and then I'm just going to work my way all the way to the free edge. So now that we talked about these nails, the, the ring nails, I want to talk about my other nails real quick since you actually know I'm not showing you what I did with them because all it is is just polish. The polish that I am using is from Madame Clam and it is called Love Me Crazy and it's a color changing polish. When it is warm it's a light pink and when it's cold it's um, like a dark pink. I freaking love this polish. You can just kind of see on some of my nails throughout the video that it was a little bit um, a little bit pink, like, well, the dark pink it was. Um, but yeah, it's color changing polish and I actually love it. And yeah, it's from a damn clam if you're interested in it. I think they still have it. I actually just put in an order for polish because I absolutely love their polish. Um, yeah, it's, I think I'm just gonna start growing my nail polish, my gel nail polish collection to them. But anywho, um, yeah, that's all that I did on the nails, on my other nails, so that's why I didn't show you guys just in case you are wondering, but I will show you the bottle um, coming up after the next clip. So once when I got that nail all done, I'm just going to wipe that tacky layer off and then I'm just going to file that into shape. I'm using a 100, a 180 grit file. Um, I believe I use the 180 grit file um, side. Um, it's gel, so it's a lot. Um, yeah, it's a lot easier to file than acrylic, definitely. But I'm just gonna file that into shape, starting on my side walls, um, towards the cuticle, and then the free edge of the nail. And also, obviously, as you can see, I'm using my e-file just to get, um, just so there's no like big lump or anything like towards the cuticle if I went a little bit thick with the gel or if it ran. So an e-file is always nice to have on hand. So after that is filed, I'm just going to take my white buffer and I'm just going to buff away any scratches that the other file may have left behind. And then I'm going to clean that nail and add a top coat. And here's where you'll see it come to life and it's just so pretty. I, if I had the patience, I would do this to all my nails, but I don't, so it's just going to be an accent nail for right now. So, but look at how pretty it is. It's just so pretty. So here's the polish that I was telling you about. It's Madame Glam. It's called Love Me Crazy. And it's a light pink to dark pink, depending on the temperature. So here's my design for you guys. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And I will see you guys later.